Hi everyone and welcome to the first in a series of videos that uh, I'm going to do on how I post process my images. Uh, in further videos I hope to include the shooting process but for now I'm starting with an image that I shot in January 2015 in the English Lake District uh, or more precisely at Westwater which is in the west uh, of the English Lake District fairly remote by English standards um, now this shot wasn't actually planned uh, m many of my shots are planned uh, quite meticulously sometimes you know and uh, I research the light how the light is going to be where the sun's going to be have a look at the weather make sure it's worth turning up and so on but uh, on this occasion that didn't happen um, we were staying at the end of Wastwater and a nice little pub called the Wasdale Head Inn, I believe it's called. Um, miles from anywhere. Uh, very nice place, very nice beer. Um, can thoroughly recommend it. And when we got up in the morning, we were heading off for a place called Devoke Water. Um, and as we drove along the lakeside, uh, which is, if we just have a look at this image, up on the left here is the road. Um, we were coming from in the distance here. And as we drove along, uh, I looked down. The weather, as you can see, was not great. It was overcast, sort of a, a good amount of interest in the sky, um, enough that I thought, you know, we could make something with if the scene was right. But, you know, it wasn't a great day. It wasn't beautiful light and so on. But as we drove along, what I noticed was that the lake was very still. It was very early in the morning. Um, the wind hadn't got up. And as we drove along, I spotted this fence going into the water. Um, it was a bit of a clamber down from the road, but uh, we pulled the car up, got down to the water's edge. I set up on a tripod uh, because I knew I wanted to bracket. That's why we've got three exposures here. So if we take you, if we, it's a good place to start. If we go through the three exposures, which is an overexposed by three stops, underexposed by three stops, and the normal exposure. Filters weren't really going to work here. I didn't want, and I, I didn't want to spend a lot of time setting up. So very often my default will be to just turn up, set it to three exposures. Um, uh, sorry, and I did say plus three and minus three. It's in fact plus two and minus two stops. Um, but my default is to to turn up um, and uh, and do three exposures that I know that I can then mix later on, which is exactly what we're going to do now. So we're working in Lightroom, and what we'll be using is um, two Nick plugins as well as Lightroom, which is HDR. FX Pro 2, which is my favourite HDR plugin. Uh, Lightroom now does HDR natively, uh, but uh, I actually prefer to use a plugin. And we're then going to use, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Viveza 2 plugin from also from Nick. Uh, we're going to add some warmth and uh, mainly, well, yeah, mainly just add some warmth with that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine these three exposures into uh, and, and get the dynamic range. I'm not going to do anything with these exposures to begin with. They're going to stay exactly as they are, raw files. Uh, an interesting thing here is rather than go edit like you do with most of the plugins, like we'll do later with Vivaza 2, you actually have to go export uh, for HDRFX Pro 2. These are available just Google Nick uh, plugins or Nick FX Pro 2, HDR FX Pro 2, whole bundle, very good value. Silver FX Pro 2 is fantastic for black and white, and uh, that'll come, you know, I'll do some stuff in further videos with that. So we export to here, and the first thing we get is this kind of interim screen just for the way it's going to merge the three exposures. Now you can already see we've got more going on here. We've got some definition in the cloud from the dark one, but it's not a bad exposure. 
in terms of alignment this is uh, I'm gonna leave that checked this is in case actually it's it's when you're shooting handheld uh, it comes in very handy I shoot with the OMD EM1 and the in body stabilization is so good that actually you can do a lot of this kind of thing handheld as long as the lights fairly good uh, this one was on a tripod though but it was stood in the water so there is a possibility that there's a little movement going on so you know it could just get knocked a little bit in the water it's on it's on these rocks uh, down the bottom here so it's just I, I just prefer to to have that alignment on and that will line align the images if need be ghost reduction is an interesting one the water was obviously moving to a certain extent if we turn the ghost reduction off we get some fairly nasty artifacts going on here uh, and that's because the water moved so if we just turn ghost reduction on that clears that up and gives us what we expect a reflection in the water of the sky so once we've got to there, all we're going to do is we're going to click Create HDR. Chromatic Aberration, by the way, we're going to leave off. We can do that in Lightroom if we want to. So we click Create HDR. And generally, once I get into HDR FX Pro 2, we're going into the main program now. It's just compiling the images. And here we go. Here's our HDR image. Starts off with a fairly basic one where it's just combined the images. And then there's a few effects of, of the way that it combines the images here. My general default is go for one of these two, a, a deep one or deep two. They just seem to bring out nice contrast and uh, you know, brings out some nice details in the sky and so on. For this one, we're just going to do deep one. That's it. That's all we do in there. We're just using that to combine the images. So we're going to click save. And that's going to bring us back into Lightroom. And this is our one we're going to work on now. So this is our HDR image that's come out. Okay, so if we have a look at that already, it's not bad. It needs some oomph, some pop, but that's not a bad image. So what we're going to do next is we are going to go into Viveza 2 and just warm it up a little bit, which is something that's just much easier in Viveza 2. However, first of all, we're just going to pop into the develop module in Lightroom. And what you can see up here, we've got some blown out highlights so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just you know I'm not going to do the exposure I'm going to do the highlights and I'm just going to pull those down but interestingly I'm not just going to pull them down until that goes because the more I pull them down the sky is getting a lot more interesting okay so I don't want to go over the top we could I've got no problem with going down to 100 but I'm going to just go so somewhere around there, somewhere about 79 mark, that's, that's brought a lot out in the sky. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a look at the image. It's not bad, it's pretty sharp. I like to sharpen my images a fair amount. You can just see that improve there. I'm just going to... I don't want to go mad. I'm going to go about there, about 48. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is that can create fair amount of noise so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mask in and if we hold down alt okay move that mask in what's happening here is we're just masking out and the white bits is where we're actually doing the sharpening okay so we're just gonna go along and we're just gonna sharpen so bits where there's no detail we don't want to be creating noise so we're just going in and sharpening the edges and so on uh, and then finally in here before we go into Viveza we can do this after we go in Viveza or we can do it now I just I like to see the image in Viveza as I'm going to do it I always always do a vignette so I'm just going to just do a post crop vignette pull that down uh, perfectly happy with that so now what we're going to do sorry we're going to just right click on this and we're going to say edit in and we're going to say Viveza 2 okay I'm going to I'm quite happy with it resolution 240 dpi and this is going to open up in Viveza now Viveza, Viveza is a tool 
that I love. What I love about these Nick plugins is I love this, the way this works. And I'm perhaps, I mean, there's a lot of videos out there that tell you how these control points work, but they're just fantastic. And they override each other and they sort of intermingle with each other. Very, it's very, very good. But for now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to warm this image up. I'm going to really warm it up and I'm going to make that bigger and I'm just going to just make it look like the sun was really shining that day. Or sorry, not the sun was really shining. Um, I'm going to make it look like uh, it was a the sun was just behind the mountains. I'm going to just warm here just on these mountains. I think we can make that a bit smaller because we're kind of interacting there. And if we use Alt, once we got this, and then hold down Alt and copy this, we can just sort of move it around and see where we want to just warm this up. I'm not going to do too much here. That's a little bit on the fence, actually. But you can see we've just warmed that up. If we do a comparison, let's just take off preview. That's quite cold, quite warm. Just... Uh, just warms it up and makes it a more pleasing image. Uh, that's all I'm going to do on that. I'm going to now save that image. That will come back in as a copy, another copy. Uh, and there it is. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the develop module. And I'm just going to do some just some little tweaks uh, in, the, in Lightroom. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to whack it up a load more contrast, really bring out the contrast. Uh, I like to go quite, uh, I think I'll go quite heavy on the contrast generally, but it just really makes it pop as far as I'm concerned. Now we're having a look at the shadows, so there's some, some bits and bobs getting lost. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. I, I must admit I prefer my, my images dark, on the dark side. Um, which would please my Star Wars fan son, but I'm just gonna just gonna bring out the shadows just a tiny bit. Um, now the next one is that I want to have a play with. I'm quite happy with the rest there. Um, clarity, clarity you can play with sometimes. I don't like it in this. I want this quite smooth. If you go clarity, it does that kind of over the top horrible HDR kind of effect? Don't like it. It's not for me. Um, but vibrance, vibrance is kind of an intelligent um, sort of color pop, if you like. Um, it sort of just brings out the stuff that's going to make it really pop. So, and I'm going to again whack that up quite a lot. You can see the colors coming out of that. We've gone a bit too far there, but I'm going to going to go. Should we go about there? About there. Happy with that? That's really starting to pop now. I'm really, I'm really liking this. Um, sometimes it makes it, it gets a little just a little oversaturated uh, when we do that so I'm just going to pull the saturation back just a, just a tad sort of somewhere around there, somewhere minus 7 something like that and then we're going to have a look at what noise we got it's, it's not too bad Con considering we've combined three images here um, but I'm just going to go down to detail and I'm just going to do a little bit of noise reduction if we if we zoom in we'll probably see this better um, if we just whack that up just bring it up okay and if I just turn that off you just see in the here if we, if we look at this dark area here I turn it back on just got rid of the noise and that is pretty much all I want to do. So it, here, okay, that's our original image, okay? The standard image without the underexposed, overexposed, that's the standard exposure. Then we go to here, which was our HDR image. Then we go into Viveza and do the bits and bobs in, uh, in Lightroom. So there you have it. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, there will be more to come. 
I've got lots planned. Like I say, I want to do some of the actual shooting process. There's going to be some gear reviews coming up. Um, I've just taken delivery of a very nice tripod, that uh, a Benro tripod that I want to talk about. Um, and if you like my photography, uh, please visit my website and follow me on Flickr. Thanks very much for watching.